viewers and Yorkie enthusiasts, I'm here today to talk to you and tell you about a case I had today in the clinic. I'm in my clinic right now uh, in Franklin, Tennessee, and I've got Pepper here. Pepper's a seven-year-old male castrated Yorkie. And Pepper presented to me with a unique problem. It's something we don't see all that often, uh, but we do see it occasionally. And I wanted to tell my viewers, and especially the people that own Yorkies, uh, about this issue. So when Pepper first came in, uh, he had what we call a distended abdomen. That means the abdomen was sticking out. Uh, it looked basically like Pepper had swallowed a bowling ball. And so a couple of differentials come to mind right off the bat. One of them is right-sided heart failure. Uh, the other one is some kind of tumor in the abdomen. And the third one, which is a unique disease to Yorkies, is called lymphangiectasia. Okay? Pepper actually has two of those three problems. Has some mild right-sided heart failure, but also predominantly has a disease called lymphangiectasia. And basically what that is, is the lymph vessels in the intestines don't work properly, so the lymph doesn't drain, and these animals lose protein through the intestinal tract. And that protein, when it's lost, results in fluid being secreted or passively diffusing into the abdomen and over time it will look like Pepper has swallowed a bowling ball. Uh, it's a disease that's pretty common in Yorkie. So right now we're managing Pepper with heart medicines and we're also managing Pepper with some anti-inflammatory, specifically prednisone, uh, immune suppressing drugs to try to combat the swelling that occurs in the abdomen from the heart failure and lymphangiectasia. Right now, Pepper's doing okay. We hope for a good full recovery. And what I want you to take home from this is that this is a disease that happens in a lot of terriers, Yorkshire terriers, Wheaton terriers, any kind of terrier. And it's something that we try to manage. We're not going to fix it. We can manage it. And hopefully we can give Pepper a better quality of life and make Pepper more comfortable. So thank you for watching. I hope you find this useful, especially for the Yorkie people out there, and we'll see you soon.